Let's turn on that music so you guys can actually hear the music and the game stuff. Bah ha ha ha. Okay. I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna get situated. I'm gonna wait for people to get here for a minute. And then we'll get started. <laughs> I've got my bottle of water because I know there's going to be a lot of reading and speaking out loud today with this game, so. Yeah. <laughs> also, the background music is quite nice. I am looking forward to the rest of the soundtrack. Should I get more cozy? Should I switch to uh, PJ mode? Nope, apparently not. Since I have to do capture. <laughs> Since I have to do display capture, because OBS is being a bitch. I guess I'm stuck with this outfit today. Because I don't want to wear my Persona outfit today. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get started. New game, Catpaw. Morning, Fennel. Oh, you're... Huh? You're already here, Fennel. You're pretty early. Hmm, I see you're ten minutes early. That's good. We can get started ahead of schedule. Try to... Try to make it a habit. When did you get here anyways? You were here before us, so um, 15 minutes ago? <laughs> 30 minutes, in fact. 30 minutes? We'll be meeting... Oh, I gotta... We'll be meeting our employer for the first time today. Being late for such an occasion would be out of the question. Having said that, arriving too early is also considered improper. He's so cute, I just want to pat him. Ah, you sure take this stuff seriously, Fennel. Let me make sure that my mic is where you guys can actually hear me. <clears throat> Hang on, where's Laurel? I don't see him anywhere. What should we do? It's almost time. I'll give him a call. He's not picking up, but it's connecting, so his phone is definitely on. He leaves, uh, he leaves us little choice. If he's not here by the meeting time, we'll have to leave. We'll have to go ahead of him with without him. Go on ahead with, without him. Blah, 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 blah. What is this? Oh, okay. Sorry. I guess he's not going to be here in time. Sage, Dill, let's go. Hmm. Okay. I can't wait to see what our new boss is like. Oh, our cafe is so cute. Oh, it really is. It's so nice. Wow, look at those antique wall clocks. Perhaps the... Perhaps the owner's hobby? A man of culture, I see. <laughs> Huh? I heard our boss is a woman, fresh out of college. Then perhaps her grandfather was responsible for the decoration? I believe he was the original owner of this place. 
Now then, she... You guys are so loud. I was having such a nice cat nap. There's Laurel. Laurely. Laurely? I can't pronounce that. I'm just gonna call him Laurel. I think that's what it's supposed to be, is like Laurel le wreaths. So. Ah, uh, Laurel, you were here before any of us. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm asking what you think you're doing sleeping on her lap. No, 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 no strange cat man. I'll be sleeping here from now on. Isn't that right, mistress? No. No, I said no. Yeah, exactly. See, Fennel gets it. Oh, I didn't read that. Sorry. If you don't like it, you need to say so. Otherwise, Catboy will simply walk all over you. I don't think Catboys will listen either way. Well, that's the one of one thing people love about them. Exactly. Mwah, I'm sleepy. Back to bed. No, get off of me! Laurel. Laurel. Oh, you're such a free spirit, Laurel. Alright. Oh, right. We didn't introduce ourselves yet. Did Laurel? He's already asleep again. He's already asleep again. Should we go ahead and introduce ourselves, Fennel? Indeed, I will go first. Oh, ho, ho, ho. man after my own heart here. I am fennel. My favorite food is prosciutto and cream cheese pasta. I can cook any cuisine, be it Japanese, Western, or Chinese, but my speciality is pasta dishes. My hobbies are working and reading. I will be here to instruct you in how to be a full-fledged cafe manager. I look forward to working with you. My name is Sage. My favorite foods are grilled fish and do dorayaki. Speciality is Japanese dishes. I like ta uh, taking baths and trying all kinds of different sweets. I'm pretty strong, so leave the heavy lifting to me. I'm Dylan. My favorite foods are hamburgers, steak, and omu rice. I'm good at cooking all kinds of western dishes, but I guess my speciality would be my favorite foods? I enjoy walking and reading fashion magazines. I know it must be a lot what with your grandfather passing away and you suddenly having to take care of take over the cafe, but we're all here to help, so let, let's let do our best together. Laurel, it's your turn. Z's. Laurel. No need to shout, I can hear you. I do love sandwiches. Sandwiches are pretty dang good. Laurel here. I love sandwiches and I'm great at making them. My hobbies are sleeping and... 
toying with things. Nope, I'm good. Nope. If you want me to do my best work, I assume you're offering an appropriate treat in exchange. Thank you, Fennel. <laughs> Laurel, don't make our employer feel uncomfortable. Um, so the four of us are going to be working here at the cafe. It looks as though everything has been prepared for the opening, yes? We should be able to open up first thing tomorrow, then. Which means I can sleep all day today. Nope, nope. Hmm? You want to show us around the place? I mean, we're going to be living workers, aren't we? I can't wait to see what kind of house we'll be living in. What? It's something out of a movie. I like the house that time forgot. Your grandfather had refined tastes indeed. I'm sure the interior is splendid, and I am most grateful for the opportunity to stay in such a place. So long as there's a roof over my head, I can sleep anywhere. Yeah, same here. Really, you two? Anyways, enough chatting. Can we go... Can we get her to show us around? Go ahead and get us a minute. Indeed, if you could please lead the way. Wow, look at this place. The color of the walls harmonizes with the vintage furniture to create a pleasant atmosphere. What better spot would there be to enjoy a morning coffee? Good night. <laughs> Laurel can sleep anywhere. Laurel can really sleep anywhere, huh? Well, early bed makes a catboy healthy and all, all that, so I'd say he's got the right idea. Sofas are for sitting, not sleeping. Beds exist for a reason. Come on, a sofa is a, a sofa is a bed for a cat boy. We'll sleep anywhere that's comfy, like our mistress's lap, for instance. Ooh. Yeah, this guy gets it. Don't encourage him, Sage! Although if I tried that, I'd send her legs to sleep too, and then that wouldn't be fun. I think I can understand the appeal of a good lap too. Oh no, they all want my lap. They're all lap cats. Now that we've seen the living room, do you think you can show us our rooms? We're... We're going to be on the second floor. Will the four of us be sharing a room? Uh, if that's the case, I'll take the living room. I can't stand noise. I will also require quiet in order to focus on my studies.
That being said, I can not in good conscience approve of sleeping in the living room. Personally, I like things more lively. I like having fun with you guys, too, so I'd be fine rooming together. Huh? We all have our own rooms. Wonderful! So I'll be able to sleep as much as I like. No. I just when I got my hopes up. It's okay, you can come and hang out in our room, Sage. Oh, that's that's a recipe for disaster there. You're welcome in mine anytime, so drop by whenever. Thanks, man, I'll take you up on that. So we have two social cats and we have two not so social cats. Wow, there were so many rooms. Hmm. So the door. So the door at on the right at the end of the hall leads to Grandpa's study, and we better keep out of there. Which one's your room? The one across from the study. The one across from the study. Then I'll take the room next door. No. Laura, that's not fair. You snooze, you lose. I don't make the rules. Except you just did! What if I had already assigned you both, like, rooms? Fennel is probably the only one who'd be able to match with me, but I still win regardless. If you wish to become her house cat, simply need to prove you're used to her. Of course, I am confident that I can do that. Then good boy, Fennel. <laughs> mm, competing against each other won't get us anywhere. I'd rather we all be friends. I'm with Sage. Why can't we all become her house cats? Oh, he's okay, Dill. Oh, uh, but we do. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, but if we do, I still want to be her number one. Why do you look so confused? You thought we were only here to help with the store? And this is the first you're hearing about the house cats? Didn't the school explain it to you? Well, no wonder you're totally lost. If you could humor me for a moment. You do know that we cat boys attend school to gain knowledge and general life skills, yes. Of course you're aware of that. The students are able to graduate upon finding either a permanent employer or an owner. Some of them graduate pretty quick, while others take longer. It's fun learning new things, but at the end of the day, we're still cat boys, you know. We want to find the one special employer or owner who can love us with all their hearts. Or were you hoping that would be you? We So we were kind of hoping it would be you. No, no, you don't need to apologize. It's our fault for getting our hope 
it's our fault for getting our hopes up. I don't see it as, I don't see a problem. What do you mean? Uh, what was that, Laurel? She wants to keep the, the cafe running, but she doesn't have a staff or the business savvy. Now, we're also beginners when it comes to the last part, but we can learn our job, can't we? He has a point. If you wish to become her cat, house cat, you simply need to prove you're used to her. Ah, I see. Even if she has no interest in the idea to start with, her feelings may change if we prove ourselves. Right? Wow, you two are really thinking it through, huh? <laughs> well... He's right on that. Everyone loves cats. There are ways to bring her around to the idea. Okay, no. Unwanted touching. Stop. For example, winding your tail around her like so. No. No. And then looking at up with a sweet little meow or yeah that's bound to be the trick no I know that trick are you okay there yes thank you Fennel how many times do I have to tell you not to make her uncomfortable no you're not no you're not how could the, she be uncomfortable? I'm simply acting like a cat. Mm, talking has me tired out. I'll be sleeping in my room. Honestly, that fellow. Well, you know, a cat boy is gonna do what a cat boy is gonna do. Hang on. This all has to be pretty sudden and I'm sure she's got a lot to digest. Why don't we call it for today? Which, or indeed, which room will you be using, Dill? I'll take the one next to Laurel. Then I shall take the one closest to the stairs. I'll be your neighbor, Fennel. Now everyone should have their own room, yes? Yep, but, um, about the house cat stuff... You can't make a decision right now, but would you do... but... You do want to consider it, so want a bit more time? Yes, okay. I don't like that translation. That was a bit clunky. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What did he say? Oh, I'm super duper happy that you're willing to think it over. We haven't been given time limited by limit by the school. So we'll work our hardest in order to convince you that we're a cat boys for you. It'd be awesome if we all became house cats together. Yep. First things first, we're here to assist with the cafe. Tomorrow will be our first day, so let's all do our best together. Okay. You bet. What? 
whoops. Just keep it down. I see I don't like this guy. No. No. Didn't expect you to suddenly flip over in your sleep. You almost whacked me. Get out of my room. Why am I sleeping next to you when I have my own room? You have your own bed! You have your own bed! I don't like this. Catboys can curl up and sleep anywhere at any time. I don't mind sleeping in my own room, but I sleep much better if there's something comfy, you know? No! No! I sleep best when I'm beside you. That comes as a surprise? I've taken a liking to you. Well, I haven't taken a liking to you, sir. Get out of my bed. These are not frustrated. These are mad. These are mad. Your frustrated reactions are always so amusing. I'm a prankster, so I absolutely adore humans like you. Nope. Not to my taste. Too forward. And how about you? Are catboys like me not to your taste? No! 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 I don't want you in here. Your face tells me you're not sure how to answer. It's not a bad look on you. No! Get out. Get out. That's more like it. I'll be out like a light in no time. Oh my god! No! Oh, it's you. Why are you awake at this hour? So you can't sleep with Laurel right beside you. I shall go wake him. No! Go, go ahead, Fennel. You can wake him up. I don't care. Please go wake him up. Why not? You feel bad for waking him when he's sleeping so soundly? If you're always so lenient, you'll end up taking it. He'll, you'll end up being taken advantage of. Give an inch, and they'll take a mile. But if you insist, I'll leave him be. Okay, Fennel. However, you find yourself in a need of my assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. I do not require your thanks. We are here. We are the ones imposing on you. It's only right that we should offer as much help as we can. That's why I was. Yes, you caught me reading up on cafe management. As it will be my first time running a cafe, I felt that I should read as many books as possible on the subject. No, it's... Uh, no. I'm nothing special. My personal motto is, if you're going to do something, do it perfectly. I see. So you don't know if you will be able to do it perfectly, but you intend to do your best with your of your ability, of your abilities. Subarashi. 
that's wonderful. And it's just what I want, would expect from to hear from you. Blah, blah, blah. If we apply ourselves, I'm sure the two of us will be able to improve our skills together. A handshake? Yes, it's a pleasure to work with you too. Now then, we have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep. I shall stay up studying a little longer. Yes, good night. Good boy, Fennel. It's you. Morning. Yeah, I'm always the shipper. Oh, that was close. The saucepan almost boiled over. Yep, I'm on breakfast duty this morning. Mm, now that you mention it, I guess I, we didn't tell you. Last night, we all had a chat and decided cooking rotation. You? You're our boss and la our landlady, so you're not obliged to cook. Obligated, not obliged. <laughs> Don't look so sad about it. Yes, I do. You like fried eggs? You suppose so? Well, that's perfect. Well, I've just finished frying them so you can be my taste tester. Okay, mm -hmm. say ah. What's up? Is me feeding you too embarrassing? It's only you and me here. No one's going to see us. Come on, open wide. All right, Sage, you don't have to call me good girl. Good girl, want some miso soup next? Or a bite of the stew? You're worried that if you eat too much now, you won't have room for breakfast. You must have a teeny tiny stomach. All right, just one last bite. Say, ah. Whoa, she dashed off as quick as a cat. Oh well, I guess I have to taste uh, taste test my miso soup myself. I'm sorry, Sage. What? Oh yeah, I hope she doesn't scald her tongue. Eep. Yeah, I'm okay. What about you? Okay, glad to hear you're not hurt. You gave me a real scare, though, bursting in through the living room door like that. Did something happen? Oh, your face is all red. Do you have a fever or... No. No fever. What a relief. Me? I just got back from a stroll. Yep, I suppose you could say going on walks is my hobby. But there's more that I've just moved here. I still don't know what the town has to offer. 
On my walk, I discovered all kinds of new places. There's a fancy store, a little shop tucked away in one corner. Plus, I found this park that looks great for sunbathing. It's the perfect place to curl up on the bench for an afternoon cat nap. I definitely go there when the weather is nice. Oh yeah, there was a convenience store right next to the park, so I stopped by and picked up a magazine. What page was it again? Oh, this one. Look at this outfit. It's so on trend right now, and I think you'd look amazing in it. In terms of makeup, I'm betting a, sul a slightly sultry eye would be perfect match. Like I mentioned when we first met, I'm really into fashion. The magazines don't cost much, but then I want to buy everything I see in them. I try to restrain myself, but somehow I end up buying an entire outfit right off the page. You know how it is? You know how it is? What's that? That must be why I'm so stylish. Yeah. Well, thanks. That's a huge compliment from anyone who's into fashion. I'm stoked. Well, I'm not into fashion, but, you know, whatever. <clears throat> Truth is, I was worried you'd write me off as a shallow, wasteful kitty. I collect makeup, too. Oh my god. I know it's a bit of a waste since there's tons of colors that don't even look good on me, but, like, makeup these days is so cutely packaged, I just can't help myself. So I figured if you'd like, you can use some of it. Uh, so you're not confident in your makeup skills? Want me to teach you how to apply it then? Yay, okay, <laughs> you're the perfect canvas already, so I think we can really play up your features. Dill, you're- oh, you're both here. What are you doing? Oh, good morning, Fennel. Good morning. We just happened to run into each other, so we were chatting about fashion and makeup stuff. How commendable. Our job- our job involves dealing with customers face to face, so we have to take our take care of our appearances. Her looks and demure demeanor will certainly make favorable impression on our customers. With a little extra effort on her clothing and makeup, I'm sure we can even make we can make even more improvements. Whoa. Fuck you. Okay. Ugh. You know, makeup isn't everything. Thank you, Dill. Um, Fennel, you're making her uncomfortable. I apologize for intruding into your personal space. Mm. 
Mm, you're a natural smooth talker, aren't you, Fennel? Maybe I better keep my eye on you. Mwah. Morning, Laurel. Good morning, I'm relieved to see you awake. It's cause... Uh, it's cause I had a little incentive from her. What kind of... What sort of incentive? Did you give him some kind of present? No! Your face is all red. Are you sure you don't have a fever? She gave me a bed. Oh my god! A bed? Hang on, did you two share a bed last night? I do recall her mentioning that she couldn't sleep due to Laurel's presence beside her. You knew about this, Fennel? How are you okay with it? Hurley didn't expect her to pick a house cat so soon. No. What? Does it mean he's your house cat? Yep. I didn't like it. <laughs> oh, I see. Laurel's the one at fault. I'd be super shocked to wake up next to someone, too. Why were you sleeping in her room anyways? You have your own, remember? Catboys sleep where it's comfiest, don't we? So, we're tying him up outside. <laughs> Be seeking you out again tonight, mistress. Oh, no fair. I want to sleep with her too. Catboys always never give up. Also never give up comfy spot. Now the two of you are making her uncomfortable. Oh, it's a pocket watch. I was like, what the fuck? Why does he have a Zippo? <laughs> that was like a Zippo sound. Um, it is time, isn't it? I believe that Sage has turned to make breakfast this morning, yes? Whoa, I thought it was noisy out here. Since you're all out here in the hallway, it saves me having to round you up. Breakfast is ready. Come on in. Mmm, smells like miso soup. Does that mean we're getting Japanese style today? It is nice to return to our roots sometimes. Hey, where are you where are you sitting? Blah. Over there? I'll sit next to you. Smooth. <laughs> Early cat gets the mouse, right? They sure do. Wait, you just sat across from her. So that's Mmm, a... so it's not all about being next to someone. Facing them is also just as good. Do you mind if I sit next beside you, Dill? Be my guest. I'll go next to Laurel. Alright, let's dig in. Let's dig in! I thought he made fried eggs, not scrambled eggs. Did... Mmm, the scrambled eggs are so fluffy and yummy. Is there some sort of trick to getting them to turn out so well.
You gotta make sure to preheat the frying pan and add each add the egg mixture in batches to let the air let in air so it fluffs up. And don't forget about the stew. I'm pretty proud of that too. You have every right to be. It's extremely flavorful. It's also fresh off the stove, so it's still steaming hot. <laughs> You're already wolfing it down too. Oopsies, hold on a second. Oh no. Lick. Whatever is the matter? It's bad manners to stand up from your chair during a meal. I see. He startled you by licking your cheek. It's nothing weird about catboys licking things. Yes, it is! Yes! I- Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. I don't- I don't know. <laughs> Right? That's how we show affection. <sighs> Sage, please stop before you give her the wrong idea. She's, she's even more flustered now. You can't deny that he's right though, can you? Maybe not, but there's surely another way to phrase that. It is a cat boy's nature to lick others and is evidence of their trust. No, I'm betting I had food on my cheek or something. I believe that Dill feels a familial affection for you and that's why he licked you. Okay. Yeah, I just feel so comfy around you. I wasn't thinking. But I promise I won't do it during work. And I'm really, really sorry for doing it out of the blue like that. Yeah. You forgive me? Yay! Also, just now, um, it was more that you had some food stuck on your cheek. There we go. See, I knew it. You had some food stuck on your cheek and it just had to get it. <laughs> I'll be more careful from now on, but I apologize in advance in case any of my feline instincts slip out. I can't be blamed for acting on instinct, and you're sorry for making a big deal out of it? No. No, it's fine. Mm, you're really nice, you know that? Like, nice enough that I might just fall for you. Dill. Eh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, so the soup's getting cold. We don't want to waste a good meal, so let's eat. That hit the spot. You're already finished? Yep. I can- what can I say? I take big bites so I clear my plate quickly. Are you chewing properly? It's not good for your stomach to inhale it like that. Thanks for the concern, but my teeth are doing plenty of work, so no worries there. Uh, yeah, I was just...
You looked really into the sautéed burdock root. You want mine too? No. Why, do you feel bad? You don't need to be polite. Come on. I don't mind if you eat it all. Please don't feed the girl, Laurel. <laughs> You're making it sound like she's the cat here. Mm, you didn't get to have any of your burdock root, Laurel. Here, you can have some of mine. A bit of mine. And uh, I'm good. No need to be all modest. He doesn't like burdock root, gotcha. So keep burdock root on myself at all times. Are you perchance not a fan of burdock root? Oh, is that why you gave her yours? I can't handle spice. Oh, he's definitely not for me then. Really? I had no idea. Now I feel bad. Well, you weren't aware when you were making it. But this is a good opportunity for all of us to know each other's dislikes. Well, I definitely don't- I can't- I can't do- I can't have Laurel be my cat because, like, I love spicy foods. I love spicy foods. For me, pretty much all spicy food. There isn't really anything I dislike. Oh, except for hot drinks, I guess. There's no foods I particularly struggle with either. Really? A cat boy doesn't like raw fish. I don't really like raw fish. Yeah, see, they're even surprised. They're like, wait, what? Weird for a cat boy. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that that's fair enough. Yep. Yeah. Yep, when I was a kitten, I got sick eating raw fish. I haven't been able to touch it since then. How about you? Got any foods you don't like? Not really, huh? That's great that you're all- you aren't- nah, blah, blah, blah. Not really, huh? It's great that you aren't picky. Tonight I'll make sure to cook something that everyone can enjoy. Oh, it's your turn tonight, isn't it? I can't wait to see what you make. You can't either. You can't either. I'm on breakfast duty tomorrow, so I hope you're looking forward to that too. Not if you can't make spicy food, my dude. You won't be able to get enough of my food. I swear, it sounds like a Zippo. Like, I, I understand the chain sound makes it very clearly a pocket watch, but like the click click definitely sounds like a fucking Zippo. <laughs> okay, everyone. If you're finished eating, please help clean up if we can... If we can keep... If we keep dithering, we'll be late in opening. Well, you're right. All right, let's get this stuff cleared away. Whew, we made it in time. Uh, in fact, we have we are in such a rush that we actually have loads of time to spare. Wait, why did we get here this early then? Mm -hmm. Yep, we opened at 10, but it's not even 8 yet. We could have taken it easy. Why? Alright, Fennel, tell us why. Okay, on the contrary. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. Mm 
Okay. There will be... There is so much... There is much to do before opening. Setting up the register, checking the dishware, running through the stock of ingredients and drinks, giving the interior a thorough inspection for cleanliness. And most importantly, planning today's promotional activities. No matter how we how well we prepare everything else, we can't expect to welcome any customers if we slack off on the promotion. Is everyone on board with that? Mm, we've already delivered flyers around the neighborhood. You say you've reached out to the cafe's regular customers and you are working on a website? Please let me take a look. Fennel, what should the rest of us do until opening time? Say so. Say so, checko. <laughs> Could you please do a hygiene check and also make sure we have enough drinks and ingredients in stock for the day? On it! I see. So you forgot to check the silverware. What's that? There are still some unopened boxes. Well, now that means that we're not quite ready to open. Even if it's not something that we need right away, we should check the contents. Could I ask you to do that, Sage? Sure thing. Leave it to me. Now that just leaves Laura without a task. What are you doing, Laurel? Setting up the cash register. I've made it so the receipts have the Cat Cafe's name printed on it, too. What's this? There's a cat symbol above the cafe name. Since we have cat boys working here... Oh. Since we have cat boys working here, we'd be passing up a great opportunity if we didn't use that to our advantage. It's not unusual to see Cap- oh. He's still talking. It's not unusual to see Cafboy staff members these days. Still, it may attract some people if we advertise that we're working here. An excellent idea. I've also set it up to automatically apply the discount when you put items together. It'll save us the hassle of having to calculate the discounts manually. What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? My apologies, I was under the impression that you weren't interested in anything other than catnapping, but it turns out you're actually very talented. Oh. I didn't know that. I did work pretty hard though. What treat do you have in store for me, mistress? Yeah, you haven't worked enough to deserve a reward just yet. Now that I'm aware of your skills, there are several tasks that I'd like to assign you. Firstly, Course. Huh, he could do anything if he puts his mind to it. The fly is the ointment is his feline fickleness. What? Hmm, oh yes. Were you going to show me the website? Hmm, 
the layout is clean and easy to navigate. However, I think it's lacking photos of the interior. It would be a waste to not show off the cafe's wonderful retro charm. The design agency? Hmm. I see. I will contact them and discuss the cost of renovation revisions. Yes, you want to include a photo of us too? I think... I think that's a good idea. I think that's a good idea. We'll have to see what the others think of it too. Of it, though. Let's ask them now. Wake up, Laurel. He's not twitching whisker. I'm sorry, but could you please try to wake him up? That's right, be gentle. Well, is it opening time already? Not yet. Our mistress has suggested that it, we take time... Uh, Blah, blah, blah. Okay, not yet. Our mistress has suggested that we take a group photo and upload it to the cafe's website. Sure, why not? Okay, so will you go ask Dylan Sage? Thank you! Phew, all clean. Oh, what's up? Yeah, I just finished sweeping. I was about to head back inside. A group photo? Oh, that sounds like fun. I'm definitely in. Oh, hang on a second. I wrote the opening times and specials on the sign and put up a little doodle, too. And what do you think? I'm good at drawing. <laughs> Thanks. Haha, <laughs> I think calling me a pro is going a bit too far. Okay, let's... I've got to ask Sage to take a look, too. Oh, Sage, he was in the kitchen going through the ingredients and drink stock, so I think he should still be there. He lifts those cardboard boxes with one hand like it's nothing and uses the other to pull stuff out. It's so cool! Oh, I didn't read that one. I don't know, because I can't see it, so... You're jealous of my art skills. He? <laughs> Oops, sorry, I didn't. Don't let me keep you. See you later. He looks so much better face on like that. I hate his side profile, like, uh, basic thing. Hey, Padunk. Welcome to the stream. All right, everything should be. Uh, all right, that should be everything. There we go. Click some of those emotes. Yep, I guess so. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh, hey, it's you. What's up? Just finished your stuff? A photo for of us. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Hmm, a photo of us for the website. Sure, I'm game. If everyone else is in, let's do it. Uh, 
that's right. You said that there were some unopened boxes, so I've been going through them all. The mugs, glasses, and plates we'll be using most often are on the middle shelf in the cabinet. The pots and pans are on the bottom shelf, so I put stuff that we probably won't be using on the top as much on the top shelf. You don't need to thank me. I told you to leave the manual labor to me, remember? Dragging boxes of ingredients to the kitchen can't be much fun for you, so just give me a call whenever you need something moved. I'm happy to help. Atta girl! No, I'm okay with head pads. I'll take head pads. Why can't I- see, I don't like this. Why are they- they're putting, like, words in my mouth. I want head pads. I want head pads from Sage. How dare this game not allow me to express that. No, you can do it to me. It's not that you don't dislike it, but it's not the kind of thing you do to a human. You're absolutely right. It makes it hard to tell which of us is the human and which is the cat. How about if I do this? You think you can reach my head now? Oh, I pet! Yes! Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Give over the head pets, sir. Uh, Sage, what are you? Wah! What on earth are you yelling about, Dill? Oh my! I didn't expect you to go behind our backs like this, Sage. What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, I get it. You all want her to pet you, too. Not bad. You look like you find it more than just- <laughs> more than just not bad. Me? Okay then, just a little. Oh, it feels so nice. Come here, Fennel, I want to pet you too. Come on, Fennel, let her pet you too. It feels so good. What? Fennel! But every good cat boy loves a good head pat. Every catboy loves a good head pat. You're no exception, right? Yes, come here. See, she wants to do it too. Come on, just let her. Till I said no. Shh, it's fine. Boop. That's right. See, you're totally enjoying it. As a cat boy, it is simply my nature. Anyways, we should- we were supposed to be taking a photo, weren't we? Shall we get into position? <laughs> Aww. He felt so awkward that he ran away. Fennel's actually a real sweetie, isn't he? Yes, friend, cat boys. Okay, we should follow. So this is the only thing I have an issue with with this game, is I don't like Sage in a full profile because they do the weird mouth thing on his art. Like, he doesn't need to be in a full profile. Everybody else has a three-quarters face for whenever it's like their normal pose. That's what I wish they did for Sage. Mm. 
Mm, where should we all stand? Sage is the tallest, so maybe he should go in the back. Indeed, Laurel is the second tallest, so he can go next to Sage, and Dylan and I will be in the front. Mm, like this? Oh, now that you say that, it looks off. Yeah, exactly! Like, <laughs> the rest of the art looks, like, really good, but I really don't like Sage in the, the profile. Uh, Sage! <laughs> Oops, my bad. You're just in the perfect petting position. <laughs> yeah, it's side eye, not side mouth, exactly. See, like, and his front profile is so, like, much better, like... And he's so handsome in this profile. <laughs> Not profile, but thing. You're developing a bald spot, Fennel. What? <laughs> Please don't joke about things like that, Laurel. It's not funny. I almost lost one of my not one of my lives. Don't be mad. Anger makes your hair fall out, don't you know? You're the one saying things to make me angry. Hey, she's waiting on us for her to be ready. Okay, so it's like, yeah, it's the... It's the opening screen, except this isn't anything like how... They described setting up, but okay. Okay, everyone, smile and say cheese. Did it turn out okay? Side has Bondo, yeah, exactly, Ren. Oh yeah, it looks good to me. Check it out, guys. Yeah, it looks great, and I think all of our personalities shine through, I guess. It's just a fucking photo, my dude. It's very good. Everything is in focus. I'll send it to the design agency and ask them to turn it into the header. Now that we're all done, I'm going to take a cat nap until opening. We open at 10, so we've got a half an hour. Oh, I've got an idea. Hey, why don't we uh, have our mint? Hey, why don't we have our mistress pretend to be a customer so we can practice? Mm, none of us have had a customer service job before, so that would be beneficial. Wake up, Laurel. You need practice too. Let him sleep. If I'm not allowed to rest now, I'm gonna need plenty of treats later on to make up for it. Who's going first? I will. I mean, it was my idea. Oh no, what happened? What did I do? Did I... I fucked up the aspect ratio. Hang on. I somehow clicked on it. I clicked on it weird. Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh. Take it away, Dill. Okay. Should we start with you entering the cafe? Alright, let's do this.
Welcome, I'll show you to your table. Please have a seat here. Here's our menu. Oh. Here's our menu. You can press the button when you're ready to order. Oh, the restroom? Yes, that would be... Um, it's over there. Please enjoy your meal. Why are you sighing? I thought you did pretty well. When she asked me where the restroom was, I couldn't answer right away, and I realized that I hadn't taken a good look around the whole cafe. If I do that with a real customer, they will realize that I'm a noob. So I was sighing because I basically failed. Failure is a step, st stepping stone to success. You can use that to learn for next time. Besides, it wasn't a complete disaster. I didn't notice any problem with the way you addressed the customer. My apologies. If I'm being completely honest, I was a little worried that you might act overly familiar with them. Ah, I get that. I know that I'm usually pretty casual with everyone, so I can see why you'd think that. Would you guys prefer if I be more formal with you? Doesn't bother me. Keep doing what you do. I think it would creep me out if you were. So long as you're aware there is a time and place for it, I have no problem with how you currently speak. Thanks, guys. Oh, the customer's calling for me. Be right back. Oh, I hit something. Hey, Big Max. Hello, Nikosama. May I take your order? Oh, the chef's special? Let me check with the kitchen. I'll be back. I'll it'll uh, I'll be just a moment. What? Why do you want me to say it, Big Mac? Fennel, what's the chef's special pasta? The chef's special. Oh, I didn't notice it on the menu. That was my oversight. Mm, we have we have a lot of spinach, so let's do a creamy spinach and bacon pasta. I don't know that I want to say it now. Other customers will probably ask the same thing, so please make sure you all note it down and memorize it. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Sorry for the wait. So you'd like the chef's special pasta and a tea for after your meal? Yes, there is many hot catos. Yes, today's to, uh, today it's creamy spinach and bacon pasta. That's fine for you? Okay, your food will be out shortly. Phew! 
You're doing really well for your... There. Big Macs, I don't know why you're asking me to say things. But I'm not a sound box. You're drilling really well for your first day, Dill. Hee <laughs> hee. You gotta take a page from your book, man. Okay, Sage, it's your turn. Yes, sir, leave it to me. The financial side of things is equally as important as serving the customers, so let's work on that. First, I'll teach you the basics of how to use the register. Now, she just ordered the, cap the chef's special and tea. The chef's special is 1,000 yen, and the tea is 500 yen, so we enter 15,000 yen. Then press the subtotal button and display the total amount. Please check to make sure the price is correct. It's showing 1,200 yen. Yes, that's because that because of the discount. Laurel set up that when someone purchases a drink with their meal, it is automatically applies a 300 yen discount. Yeah, I would say too. Laurel did that. Wow, that's amazing. It's easy enough if you read the instructions. Now, I don't think I could do that even if I followed them to the letter. You're the real smart cookie, Laurel. He may be lazy, but he's actually rather talented. Flattery, flattery will get you nowhere. Hmm? Why are you coming over here? <laughs> What's with the hand? Oh, you're giving me a treat for my hard work. That's it, behind the ears. <laughs> they have cat boys and reasonable prices. <laughs> what is this fantasy exactly? Oh, do me, do me! Aww. Can we get another pet too? There's no need. Let's continue. Once you have calculated the subtotal, enter the amount received from the customer. Let's say it's exactly 1,200 yen. Once you have entered it, press the cash button. After a moment, it will pr produce a receipt, which will then then you will hand over to the customer. There was no change this time, but if there is, the cash drawer will pop open. The cash drawer should pop open anyways, because you got to put the cash in, dude. Then you hand over the indicated amount to the customer. All right, I've got it.
That's what I like to hear. Now let's put it to practice. Our mistress now, uh, sorry, our mistress can now play the part of the customer again. Please bring your bill to the register. One chef special and a tea. That'll be 1,200 yen. There we go. You'll give a better impression if you say, if you add a please or if you please at the end. Customers can be surprisingly picky about these things, especially when it comes to comes right, especially when it comes to this cafe. We are following the footsteps of our mistress's grandfather, so I'm sure people will be expecting top-notch service. Pretty please, Fennel. Yes. That will be 1,200 yen, please. 1,200 yen, if you please. Mm, I feel more comfortable just saying please on its own. That's absolutely fine. Remember to say thank you when they hand the money. When you... Blah! Remember to say thank you when they hand you the money, and when you're giving change, make sure to state the amount that you're giving to them. It'd be best to give them the notes first, followed by the coins. Mm, there's so much to remember. I feel like I'm gonna get it all jumbled up. Right now, okay, yeah, right now making an effort is what do what's going to impress the customers most. So if you are finding it difficult, just do your best. However, our mistress here is the manager. As the face of the cafe, she must endeavor to always put her best foot forward. That's what I like to hear. Now that we have five minutes until opening time, let's start practicing, uh, stop practicing and start preparing to greet our customers. I wonder what kind of people will come today. I'm so excited. Yeah, we're always going to remember our first customer, so let's give them a real warm welcome. You know, I will uh, I will give this game one thing. If we don't have any customers the first day, for some reason, and like all the catboys are sad, like, I'll, I will applaud this game if that's the case. Because that's what happens for a lot of new businesses. But I know this isn't like a new business, so. Oh, hydrate, gotcha. Gotcha. I've been keeping Hydra just so I can read and everything. <laughs> I don't know if they'll be able to handle a full-on Catboy welcome. Of course we want to welcome them, but please don't overdo it. Do you think anyone's going to come? Do you? I'm so nervous that I can't sit still. I'm going to move around to loosen up some of this tension. Excuse me, no running inside the store. Mwah. No, apparently we did get a customer. It's time, guys! Heck yeah! I suppose I'll have to pull out all the stops. 
Remember to smile, everyone. Welcome to the Cafe Kinua. I don't know. Um, what is that? Okay. We're going to go ahead and make our first save. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> For people in chat. Whose path are we going down first? This is what we have to choose now. Um, so your choices are Fennel, Sage, or Dill, because I refuse to go after Laurel. Like, I, I hate that cat. <laughs> um, but uh, you're partial to Fennel? I mean, I'm I'm partial to the three that I, I mentioned, so yeah. <laughs> I'm really honestly okay with any of those three. So, yeah. <laughs> if everybody wants fennel, we'll go fennel. I'm down. It's a good butler cat boy. <laughs> Sage got your vote, Panunk? Okay, so... <laughs> Do we have anybody else that wants to pipe in? If not, then we'll... I'll flip a coin or something. Dill's the cutest. He's like, you know, he's cute. I definitely think he's like the cutest. And then Fennel is the handsome butler guy. And then Sage is like the, the, uh, strong manly type. So. <laughs> We've got a Mexican standoff here. I guess so. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can. All right. Uh. wheel. So input sage. Dill. Winder capture. Winder. Where is window capture? There we go. Boop. Boop. Alright. It'll cover me for a second. But here we go. It's still. Okay. So we're going to go for Dill. <laughs> I'll show you to your. Oh. I'm sorry for shouting. It's just, I saw that outfit in a magazine the other day. The pickle route. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you did? I read it too. The moment I saw you, I got all hyped because I recognized the new clothes. The magazines have has so many trendy outfits in it. Flipping through is so much fun. Laurel and I will be working in the kitchen. Dill, Sage, and the mistress can handle the front. Yeah, we got this. You can leave all the sandwich orders to me. <laughs> Hoping he won't eat everything? I mean, we don't know. The voice acting is smooth. None of them are grating on me. Yeah, 
it's only the personality that grates on me for Laurel, so, yeah. That's your speciality, isn't it? Well then, I'm counting on you if such orders arise. Let's wait for customers to arrive. Would you like a tea with your sandwich selection? Thank you, your food will be ready shortly. You're doing great with customer service still. You're not sure you can do as well as him? Practice makes perfect. Even if you mess up, failure is a stepping stone in the path of success. You got that from Fennel. Oh, here comes another customer. No, oh, you go for it. I'm here to meet someone. Yes, that lady in pink. I'll take a nice coffee. Nice coffee, Fennel. There you go. From where I was standing, it looked like it went well. So your customer is here to meet with that lady? Something seems a bit off between them. Yeah, the woman... Oh. The woman does seem a little tense. Maybe it's because he's late. I don't think that's it at all. At, at all. There is to it. I don't think that's... Uh, blah, blah. Ugh. I don't think that's all there is to it. What are you spreading on the bread, Laurel? A dash of hot sauce? My special sauce of mustard, black vinegar, and with a dash of hot sauce. You can't use that! I'll make the sandwich. Please take care of the drink for me. You would love some of that sauce, not gonna lie. I'd try it. Mustard and black vinegar. I heard something about hot sauce too. What? Wait, hang on. No, I call, I, I wanna say something here. So, in the part where we're in the kitchen and we talk about people not liking food, like the things that they didn't like for food, uh, he specifically said he doesn't like spicy food, so why would he add hot sauce to his special sauce? Like, he can't even taste it then. Mm hmm Mmm. -hmm. No, sir, I do not believe it. Yes, they're all named after herbs. <laughs> It is sus, Nikosama. You want to see what's going on too? Okay, off you go. <laughs> hey, Fennel, is the order ready? Yes, I've just finished. Okay. You didn't put any weird spreads in there, did you? Have no fear, I remade the whole thing. Looks tasty. I'll take it out to the customer now. Laurel, is the iced coffee ready? Yeah. You didn't add anything extra, did you? I just used the coffee maker. <laughs> Alright, please take this to the customer too. Sorry for the wait. Thanks. Could I interest you in any of our meals? I recommend our spicy curry rice to go with your iced coffee. That's actually something that I will say that I never knew 
was actually good, but I've had it. So I've had curry leftovers with my coffee in the morning, and it is so fucking good. It does. It fucking slaps. Like, ugh. Good job, Dill. You're such a good boy. <laughs> sure, I'll take that. Thank you. We also carry paper bibs if you're worried about your clothes. And of course I'll bring two. I don't need one. Huh? How did you know I just bought these clothes? Yeah, since it's a date... Well, yeah, the dull points are definitely going up. Yeah, since it's this this is a date, I figured I should dress up a bit. Pickle points? Oh, because he's a dull pickle. Yeah. Gotcha. You too? You bought a whole new outfit for today. Thanks. You look great. Tee <laughs> Glad to see they're getting along. Looks like I was right. So you know how I said I didn't think the woman was tense because the guy was late? I figured she felt awkward that she ordered food, but he hadn't, and also that he hadn't said anything about her outfit. You think I pay careful attention to people? <laughs> I don't think you should be learning from me when I'm still in training myself. Yeah, you're right. We can support each other as we go. Mm. Welcome. I'll show you to your seat. You'll greet the next customer? Okay. I can... Okay. Can I leave it to you to it? Good luck! Uh. Are you okay? Yes, how is it going out front? Now that the lunchtime rush is over, it's a lot quieter. What should you do? Uh, please stack the dishes, the dirty dishes in the sink. Thank you. Wait a moment. Actually, you should take your lunch break. But you seem exhausted, Fennel. I think you should go first. Don't worry about me. I'll take my break when you get back. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, then I will take you up on that. Come on. Where do you want to eat? Japanese food, Western, Chinese, basically anything you could want. So let me know. I seem kind of down. What do you- why do you think that? Why would you think that? His tail is literally in the exact same position. His tail is literally in the exact same position. What the fuck are we talking about? Oh, I guess my tail gives me way. Yeah, I kind of wish I had done things differently. Even though I gave perfect customer service and even helped him on with his date? I 
I appreciate you saying that, but what he said also made me realize my service was less than perfect. Oh no, he didn't complain or anything. I don't think that's bad. Yeah, I know, right? Padunk, just like flip it down. It's just, when he was paying the bill, he said to me that it'd be like chatting with an old friend. I guess because when he came in, I treated him like a friend rather than a customer. First impressions really count, you know? I've realized that I gotta be more careful. Actually, I thought he was done talking. Actually, I was like that with you too, wasn't I? Even though I was the trainee and you're the boss, you've been acting like we're equals. I kind of regret it now. From now on, I... Eep! What's up? Oh, you don't mind me acting how I act around you? You actually dislike it if I was all formal and stuff? Yep. When we first met, I was friendly to you, and that really put you at ease. So you were super happy when I said we should do our best together? You felt like we could be friends. <laughs> For realsies. For realsies? Um, actually, I thought the exact same thing. Tomodachi. But like I said, you're my boss, so I figured we probably couldn't be friends, and I held off saying anything. Yeah, he's a precious dum-dum, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I do want to be friends with you. Okay, then from now on, we're friends. <laughs> and if we're friends, it's totally normal to hold hands like this. I don't think friends hold hands, but... All right, Dill. Oh, but it's probably best to not be too clingy around the cafe or at home. Everyone wants to be close to you, so I feel bad if I thought I was going behind their backs. That's right, Dill. Plus, it wouldn't be a good idea to be too friendly with each other in the workplace, right? Friend stuff. Quotes. They should have quotes around the friend stuff <laughs> there. So let's save the hand holding and other friend stuff to when it's just us. Pinky promise. Oh, look, this restaurant's been featured in a bunch of the top 10 lists recently. It's a weekday and after lunchtime, so there's no line. Yep, this is our chance. So we have lunch here. Mmm, amurais. Amurais. <laughs> lewd! Lewd! Hand holding is lewd! Yes, exactly. Their amurais is supposed to be amazing. I can't wait to try it. Oh, Dill. Well, you're back. We sure are. Welcome back, guys. You two sure have been getting along. What time is it? I need to keep track of time. Okay, cool. We're good. 
getting along. Oops, we're still holding hands. Now that we're back at the cafe, we've got to return to being employer and employee. I'll go tell Fennel we're back. Is Sage like Dill's wingman? You want to help me with cleaning? I appreciate it. Could you hand me the dustpan? So what did you guys have for lunch today? Omni rice, huh? And you say it was fluffy, runny, and delicious? Wonder what I should get. It was a super popular restaurant, and you can get in without a wait right now? Maybe we should all head there, too. Fua fua. Yeah, fluffy. Japanese onomatopoeias are so good, like fua fua and uh, moshi moshi, or not moshi moshi, uh, mochi mochi. And I just love them. Just the repeating of the sounds are so cute. Mochi mochi. Great work, Sage. Thanks, but you look like you've been working ten times harder than me, though. I'm perfectly fine. Oh, Fennel. He wouldn't let me make a single dish. <laughs> of course not. From here on out, you're in charge of the drinks, Laurel. Please do not attempt to cook. <laughs> Jeez, don't give me the stink eye. I get it. Whoops, that was my stomach. It's past time, so... It's past lunchtime, so it's only natural that you would be hungry. There aren't many customers at the moment, so I think Mistress and Dill should be able to cover for us for a short while. However, if you find things you're picking up, please give me a call. Okay. Okay, we'll leave the cafe in your capable hands. Welcome. Oh, you're here super early today. Yeah. So you're here on your, your own this time? Actually, she's waiting for me by the station. I wanted to come by and thank you personally. Thanks to you, our day went really well. Oh. And I'm really grateful. Oh no, I didn't even do anything. That's not true. I'm kind of dense, so I had no idea what she was annoyed about. But when you recommended the meal, I suddenly realized that that was... realized what the deal was. Same with the clothes. You have a really keen eye, man. I'm speaking over the dating guy. It made me realize I should pay more attention, too, so I can notice stuff before she has to tell me. I'm sorry to dump all of this on you, but, uh, I'll come back with her again soon. Please do! <laughs> oh, you saw all of that. Yep, he came in just to thank me. 
I didn't do it for praise in the first place, but it still makes me smile. When my customers are happy, it inspires me to work even harder. And you think maybe the real joy that keeps people motivated in customer service jobs. I thought visual novels usually give you a choice. Besides just the person you're going for. Am I literally just clicking through the story? Yeah, it makes sense. I love making people happy, so maybe it's the perfect job for me. <laughs> no choice. Just dill. Dilling around. Yep. Hey, you two. Only one hour until closing time. So go let the customers know we've got to put in any last orders. Okay. Thank you very much. Please come again. For you. Good work. <laughs> you look relieved. If we keep going like this, I think we might, uh, I think we can keep your grandpa's cafe going. No, we worked hard today, but so did you. Oh. Sorry, I missed that one. You're running around like crazy, serving customers and helping in the kitchen. Actually, your hair looks a bit like a bird's nest. Thanks. Oh, I know. Come by my room before you take a bath tonight. I'll fix your hair right up. Oh, no. Oh, it's you. Why are you standing around looking all nervous? You're waiting for Dil- oh, he's still talking. <clears throat> Hang on one second. Rah. You're waiting for Dill. Oh. I'm- oh, so you're gonna take a bath together. No! Oh, there, you dropped your towel. I don't think it got dirty, but if you're worried, I can go wash it. No, no, no. A simple no would have been fine. <laughs> Excuse me, Sage. Are you handsome enough yet? Exactly right. Mm, so you're not going together. Why are you waiting for him? I'm here. Oh, hi, Sage. Is that a comb you've got there? And a hair mask. I'm going to brush your hair out with this rubber brush. How is that? Am I hurting you? Okay, I'll keep going. It's a bit tangled, so I've got to be gentle. Done. He's just so cute. Tee hee, nice and silky. Already, isn't it? You can use this brush to massage the shampoo in, too. Yep, it can be used as a shampoo brush. I'll apply the hair mask after you had your bath. I told you I'll fix your hair. Plus, I enjoy hair care and stuff. Yep. Yep, go ahead and take a bath. Take your time and relax. Welcome back. Was the bath warm enough? 
just right, was it? Stop rubbing it with the towel like that. It'll damage your hair. Sit down right there. You pat the ends... If you pat the ends of your hair like this, it's much gentler. He's so cute! Like this. Look at his little tail wag! That probably feels weird because you're not usually this gentle with it. You usually rub it with a towel and then use a blow dryer? I see. That damages the hair, so you should dry it this way instead. Even if it takes longer. Then the other side. Pat, pat. Thank you, Neko-sama. I appreciate you joining. You know, for all the cat content. Catboy content. Now we're going to use the repairing hair mask. Getting hair advice from Catboy. Mentally taking notes. Yes, exactly. Cat pushes cats. Mwah. Mwahahaha. Yes, Nico. <laughs> mm, it's the best if you do every day after your bath. If possible, but if not, then once every three days is good. Smells good. I just noticed that his collar thing has a bow on it. It's a floral scent, but I picked this- I, I picked one that's not too intense. I'm going to smooth it over your hair and then brush it through with the rubber brush. Go on. Give your hair a feel. Why do I have purple hair? I have purple hair, apparently. Yep, silky smooth, right? When your hair feels like this, you just want to keep running your fingers through it, don't you? Lastly, we're going to blow dry it. Too hot? Okay, this is a good distance. Silky smooth. To finish things off, we put it on the cool setting. And you're done! Sparkles, even though I can't see myself. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, it really is silky. It doesn't feel like your hair. If you treat it every day, you'll have smooth hair like this and won't wake up with bedhead. You're a real expert when it comes to hair care, Dill. I wouldn't say that. I just pick up stuff from the magazines I read. I read. Oh yeah, you were reading one while she was in the bath, weren't you? Yep, it's part of my daily routine. By the way, there's some stuff about hair care in that magazine on the table. You look interested. You can have it. You don't need to be polite. Sides, I have two copies, so you don't... You're more than welcome to have one. I kind of bought two for the free gift. Yep, go ahead and take it. You'll be doing me a solid, too. Oh! Hello, Sage. Mmm, <laughs> you smell good. Sniff, sniff. Come on, Sage, you're making her uncomfortable. Onya! Onya! 
<laughs> that does smell good. No. Blah. Sorry. I'll just I'll just take these two. I'm fine. I'm fine with these two. Sages, huh? Oh. oh my bad. Who's taking that next? Fennel said that he'd go last since he's got studying to do. Okay then, you can go ahead. Oh, hang on, I should ask Laurel too. I'll swing by his room. Huh? He's in your room. So he claimed your bed as his own and won't go back to his own room. Oh yeah, I remember him sleeping in your room on the very first night. When us catboys find a snuggly spot, it makes us feel comfy too. I guess that means Laurel finds com feels the mo feels the comfiest when he's curled up next to you. I don't fucking care. Get that cat out of my house. If I crawled into your bed too, I think that'd be a tight squeeze. I'm in the same boat as Laurel. Same, I feel the comfiest when I'm next to you. I bet Fennel feels that way too. <laughs> Don't you think it would be ideal if we all became house cats together? I will take the three of them, but Laurel has to leave. I do not want him. He has to leave. But if you took us all in, it'd be more of a burden on you. You want to get everything on track with the cafe so you can adopt all of us? Why are we adopting them? I'll get the spritz bottle. I appreciate it, Padunk. <laughs> I wonder, that's wonderful that you're still being su such an optimist. You actually want to spend even more time with us at home and at work? So, ah, I see, I see. You're practically purring over there, Dell. Well, it sounds to me like being with us is making her like us even more. I'm getting to like you so much, too. Same here. Oh, what's up? You're gonna go get Laurel? I'll come, too. Oh. I think he might leap on you and hug you super hard. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. You took a bath, right? You washed Laurel's scent away, so he's gonna want to mark you again. Fuck that cat. Fuck that cat, like, so hard. Mm hmm. Catboys have the habit of adding their scent to things to show what's theirs. We call it marking. It's kind of like what we were doing earlier, actually. You were super duper nervous when we pressed all close to you and started sniffing your hair? Hmm. <coughs> 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 It's our nature as cat boys, but I'm so sorry. Sorry. Pew, I'm glad you forgive us. You want to come with me? You sure? Thanks. 
Okay, let's head to your room and... You have a question first. Sure, shoot. What did I mark you today and not after you took a bath on the first night? We'd only just arrived here and I was still kind of shy around you. But now that I'm more comfortable, my feline nature is coming through, and I bet Fennel will mark you soon too. It might be hard to imagine, but he is a cat boy and we can't fight our nature. When he sees that you're fresh out of the bath, he'll come nuzzle up to you without even thinking about it. What's with the grumpy face, sourpuss? Well, thinking about it is making me a little jealous. I can nuzzle up against you too. Yay! Dill sure knows how to get his way. If we all become her house cats, I bet he'll demand the most attention from her. Oh, I didn't say that. Laurel, are you here? He's sleeping. Yep, he's asleep. I don't want to wake him up, so swing by again after the rest of us have our bath. We have bathe. Oh, this is... I knew I recognized it. It's a magazine I showed you the other day. So you bought a copy for yourself too? Was there an article that caught your eye? The makeup feature? All the different tutorials are helpful, but when you try it yourself... Okay. All the different tutorials are helpful, but when you try it yourself, it never comes out looking like in the magazines. Speaking of makeup, didn't I promise to teach you some tricks? Yep, I play around with makeup a lot. I'm pretty good at it. Do you want? Do you have any plans for your, our next day off? Then I'll teach you some makeup tricks. No need to look so impressed. You can totally... Wow. You can totally change the vibe that you give off depending on how you do your makeup. I can't wait to see how we're going to transform you. Can I come in? It's me! Oh, this? It's my trusty makeup kit. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you think it's cute. Okay, sit yourself down. Let's see, we've got the foundation brush, blush brush, eyeliner brush. Yep, there are different brushes for different things. This big one's for foundation. The one with the one for blush is a little thinner, and this one is for eyeliner, it's really short and thin. Sorry. Huh? You only have one brush you use for everything? Oh yeah, using different kinds gets you different results, so I think it's best to have an assortment of brushes. If you're not sure what kind of eye, I can help you. Actually, I have a few old ones that I've been thinking about replacing. 
Let's do it. Okay, makeup time. This will take a little bit, but bear with me. Pat around your eyes, swirl over the cheeks there. We'll use the this color for eyeshadow and match your lips. Match lip. Oh, that tickles. Cat boy themed makeover. Yep, I look like I'm enjoying myself. Yep, it's fun doing your makeup. Me too. I'm really liking it. You're cute even to start with, so I'm gonna... And I'm gonna work my magic to make you even cuter. Eat, you mess it up if you move around like that. Nah, it's my fault for saying something that made you jump. But you really are cute. So are you! Hey, you don't need to deny it so forcefully. Okay, I won't say it again. I'm going to continue, okay? And done! Sparkle. It's encouraging when someone joins in with helping in some self-love treatments. But Catboy, even more so! Exactly, Badunk. Even more so cute. Ah, I'm surprised too. You look even more mature. I went with a pinkish gray for the eyeshadow and a pinkish beige for the lips. The cla it's a classy look, but the pink tones make it cute too, am I right? Why the long face? Don't worry, your current outfit totally goes with it. But if you think if you put on something that matches the look even better, it'd be even more stunning. So let's go shopping! You two heading out? We're going on a date. Yes. Still, we're going on a date. Have fun. What's that? It's not a date? You're just going shopping? <laughs> no need to put up a front with me. I've noticed you two getting close recently, so it wouldn't it wouldn't so it wouldn't be surprising if there were more going on between you. There really isn't, but Dill just said it was a date. Oh, I clicked on something, sorry. Here we go. That was a just a joke. She's telling the truth. We were heading out to buy some clothes. Clothes, huh? Sorry, I had to reply to something. The store we're going to has a men's selection, a section, men's section, so why don't you come with? Hmm, do they have Japanese style clothes? I don't think so. You don't see many stores selling that kind of stuff these days. Speaking of, don't you fi have trouble finding your outfits? You always wear Japanese clothes. I have this one store I always go to, so it's no prob. 
No, I'm not cool. But I totally get why she said that. Like, it really is cool that you have a place that you can always count on. Let me know next time you're going. You want to get into Japanese clothing? Hang on. Oh, hang on. Sorry guys, give me just one second. Okay, sorry. Mr. Husband messaged me to uh, order him something really quick, so yeah. interested in the makeup than clothes, so you should totally come with us too. Oh, my little buddy here? Oh, that's Oparu. It's my magical mascot. <laughs> I mean, I need a model if I'm going to be practicing my looks, and I'd love for you to be, be mine. Don't say that. I'm asking because I want you. What? Oberu. He's not plotting anything. He's not evil. I don't know why people think he's evil. Like, come on, look at him. He's so cute. How can he be evil? Uh... I don't know where it started, but there are a lot of people that insist that he has to be plotting something and he's up to something. <sighs> yeah, if I doll you up in geisha makeup, you'll give off a whole different vibe. <laughs> you didn't say evil plotting, gotcha. Speaking of different vibes, did you change something up today? Still did your makeup. Oh, it really suits you. Quit hugging her, you'll ruin her makeup. Whoops, my bad. Oh, Sage gives good hugs. I bet Sage. Whoops, my bad. Plotting for snacks, which we'll have snacks later today, actually. Uh, Baksu is here, so probably around 4 or 5 we'll be doing a Baksu stream. Take care, you two. I'll have a tasty dinner waiting for you when you get back. 
See you later. Oh, I know this piece. It totally sold out in the store near our school online too. There aren't going to be any restocks either. It's super rare. Can't believe that there's one left. It's the right size, so it would be silly not to buy it. Now, where's the register? <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry. We're here to buy stuff for you, but I'm picking up stuff for me. I should take as much time as I like. You're so nice. Hello, can I help you with anything else? Or can I help you with anything? I'd like this and... Could you bring me all the pieces in this outfit? Of course, may I borrow your clipping? Yep. I'll be just... be a moment. Oh that? I told you there was an outfit that would look great on you, remember? I made sure to clip it out clip it out the page. Nope, it's fine, I do it all the time. I keep art I clip out articles that catch my eye and keep them in a scrapbook. Actually that piece that I just I found just now. Yep, that's the one this guy is wearing. Doesn't he look cool? You think I'll look cool in it too? Aw, oh, thanks. I wonder if I can... Can I... Oh. Sorry for the wait. Is this what you're looking for? Oh yes, perfect. I'll show you to the fitting room. Please let me know when you're finished. I'll be hanging around here, so let me know when you have them all on. Coming! Come on, show me how they look! What's wrong? You're wearing them, but you don't think they suit you? Don't change back! Since you have them on, I'd really like to see how they look on you. No, nope, I promise I won't laugh, so please? Why did you shut the door on me? Now that you're sure you look terrible, so you're changing back. It wasn't being quiet because you looked bad. Actually, I looked so good that I was lost for words. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. You look amazing in that outfit, and I'm head over heels. You're okay in there? I heard some kind of banging sound. Oh, you were so you were so shocked that you accidentally banged your head. Could you come out and show me again? Oh. Yeah, you look fantastic. I'm sure the staff will agree. Uh, excuse me. Oh yes, you look fabulous in those clothes and your makeup matches perfectly. You could have stepped right off the page of the magazine. I know, right? Oh, he was just saying that? I'm 
I'm going to get him to bag up your other clothes so you can wear this outfit out of the store, okay? Could you bag these clothes up for us? Of course. You're such a nice boyfriend. He thinks I'm your boyfriend. No, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, I'm honored. I'm happy. Oh. She shut me out again. Am I annoying you? I'm not annoying you. You're just too embarrassed to look at me right now? I have a lot of free male friends. Since I'm into fashion and makeup, I tend to gravitate more towards girls. When I was still in school, we'd go out shopping together and stuff. Yep, I went with them to look at women's clothing, too. Sometimes people would make comments like the mister did here did about me being a good boyfriend and stuff. And I'd always set them straight right away, making it clear that we were just friends. Oh, Dill. But just now, I felt like I didn't want to do that. It's hard to explain, but I feel differently about you than all of those other girls. I guess you're special to me. Special enough to make me happy that people might think that I'm your boyfriend. Sorry for saying- sorry, that was a super weird thing to say. We'll probably be done bagging your stuff, so I'll go pay. Huh? Is that fennel over there? It is fennel. We should say hi. Hey, fennel. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Are you two shopping too? Yep. Have you bought anything? I have a wonderful thing indeed. Visiting the flea market was an inspired idea. What flea market? You haven't heard about it? Nope. Huh, so that's why there's so many people around. Welcome. I'll take this book and this, please. Thank you, that'll be 300 yen. What book did you just buy, Funnel? A historical novel. I didn't know you read that kind of thing. You're surprised? Well, you're usually reading heavy-looking manuals and textbooks, so it's a bit unexpected. Mm, what's your favorite era? I would have to say the Kofu period. Kofu? The more I learn about it, the more fascinating it becomes. Really now? Hey, you seem super interested in that book. What is it? It's a manga you have back at home? Oh, you like manga? Since they have the first, no first volume right here, maybe I should give it a try. Excuse me, I'll take this. That'll be 150 in. My 
my apologies. I know it's rude to stare. But your makeup and attire are rather different than usual. You look more mature somehow. N oh, no, I don't mean that you usually look childish. Besides, I like you however you look. Stop right there. You're not allowed to seduce her with your fancy words. Seduce her? What on earth are you talking about? Do you have no self-awareness? Oh, that's right, you're a cat boy, unaware of his own charms. Oh. Oh. Ah, he's so cute! We've got somewhere else to be now, so we'll see you later, Fennel. Come on. Oh, he's so cute. That should be far enough. <laughs> Yeah, I told Fennel a little white lie. But seeing you and him made me feel all... Okay, sorry. Seeing you and him being all chummy made me feel funny. Aww. I think if, I, if we all become your house cats, I may be the most possessive one. You... Whenever I get jealous, you'll pet my head like this. I bet that even if we all end up your house cats, you'll put me first. Hey, can we hold hands? Thanks. Uh-oh. I apologize for the interruption, but may I have a moment of your time? Um... You're okay with it? Okay, me too. I'm with this publication. Oh, I read your magazine all the time. I'm out here looking for people... Thank you very much. I'm out here looking for people to interview for our hottest urban couples feature. Can I ask you to participate? Uh, my apologies. I just assumed you were a couple. Hey, we should do the interview anyway. I don't think we'll get another chance like this. Plus, it'll be a great memory for our first date. You don't wanna? Yay! She only said that because she's shy. Oh really? Well then, I would very much like to take some photos to go along with the interview. Would that be a problem? No problemo, right? She said it's fine. First of all, could you tell me how you two met? We met because I started training at the cafe she runs. You look so young. You're already running a cafe? That's amazing. You inherited it from your grandfather? Not at all. That's still quite impressive. So at first your relationship was that of an employer and her staff member? Yep, and that part hasn't changed. She took over her grandfather's cafe right after graduating college, so she's had a lot on her plate. My friends and I are doing all we can, or doing our best to lighten her load as much as we can. There we go. Wah! Wow. 
How wonderful. If you don't mind, may I ask the name of the cafe? No, I won't put it in the article. I see. You'd rather not be public knowledge that you two are dating as an employer employee. I understand. You have my word that I won't mention in the article. I'll be sure to stop by sometime. All right, let's move on to the next question. Please tell me what you like about each other. Well, there's tons of stuff, but mostly I love how kind she is. And you love how open and friendly he is. He gives you fashion and makeup advice? What a wonderful boyfriend. Oh my, is something wrong? I think she's startled because someone just said the exact same thing to us. I see. Embarrassing as... Embarrassing as it is to admit, I'm useless at giving my girlfriend fashion advice. I really respect you. Oh, you have a girlfriend? What is she like? She has a gorgeous smile and she's an amazing cook. Haha, <laughs> now I'm just gushing. So, I like hearing about people's relationships. Where did you meet? Did you make the first move? Uh, well... Sorry. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Okay, I'll stop prying into his personal life. Last question. What do you dislike about the other person, or what would you like to change about them? I don't dislike anything about her, but I don't think I want and I don't think I want to change anything about her either. How about you? Nothing for for e either of you? Well, aren't you two just the perfect love struck couple? I bet you and your girlfriend are pretty love struck yourselves, am I right? I don't know about that. You look at him grinning. He must. He and his girlfriend must be in love. <laughs> Thank you for the questions. Thank you for. Or that's that's it for the questions. Thank you for your participation. Finally, I'd like to take a photo of you. Do you mind cuddling up together? Okay. Come on, let's get closer. Okay, I'm going to take it now. Thank you very much. It'll appear in the issue that goes on sale on the 28th of next month. So please check it out. Oh, could you take a picture of us with my phone? Of course. Thank you. Now if you'll excuse me. You okay? You seem kind of tired. You want to find somewhere to sit down? Oh, how about that place over there? I picked this place randomly, but it's really nice inside, isn't it? Sugar's supposed to perk you up when you're feeling run down, so how about we order something sweet? Excuse me. To Animitsu. Animitsu, please. I have never heard of that. Of course, they'll be ready for you in just a moment. No, I'm not too tired. But I just felt like eating something sweet, so I went with the Amitsu. You were impressed with how I wasn't at all nervous during the interview? I'm just more experienced with those kind, that kind of thing, that's all.
Yeah, I got people to approach me in the street fairly often. I've even been scouted as a model. Nope, I turned down the offer. So I've never done, I've never actually done any modeling. Yeah, because he's a male calico, yeah. I don't know, I think they scouted me more because I'm a rare breed rather than because I'm super stylish or anything. Yeah, I'm a calico. Yep, there aren't many male calicos out there. Cowboys love to be loved, and as a calico boy, people always seem to fuss over me. This one guy was convinced that I could be a supermodel, and he came after me pretty hard. But I don't like- I don't really like people fawning over me just because I'm a rare breed. I prefer it when it comes from someone who likes me for who I am. I feel like you're the kind of girl who'd love me for who I am, regardless of my breed. You love how kind and cheerful I am? So if I had the same personality, you'd feel the same way about me, no matter what breed I was. Ah! I love you too! Hey, do you remember when we talked about how us catboys are all waiting to meet our one owner or employer who will love us from the bottom of their hearts? Even though I was hoping that you might be become that person, I always thought there was a chance that it wasn't meant to be. But now, I really want you to be my owner. Maybe one day, something more. Sorry for the wait. Alright, I have to look up what this is. Oh, hang on. I have to look up what this is. Uh, what? I did not mean to change in the magic form. Hang on. I need to look back at what, uh, what it's called. Hang on. Uh, in Miyatsu, okay. said in there. Oh, okay. I know what they are now. Sorry. I need to look that up. Yum! Yep, Tasty Food always puts a smile on my face. It revives you too. Tee hee, good to hear. Dill is such a mood. Yes, exactly. I'm gonna start the say before was. I'll tell you after I'm your house cat. Oh, no, I'm not asking for you to decide right now. I know you want to take a sit. Oh. I know you want to take us in. You said that's why you want to get the cafe on the right track. No, you don't need to. Uh, you don't need to apologize for keeping us waiting. I'm just happy to happy you want to, even though it wasn't planned at first. 
I'm so blessed to have met such a kind person. Not only did you take... Oh. I didn't mean to do that. I know that place is special to you, so let me continue to support you in the cafe however I can. I, I want to be there for you. No, you don't have to thank me. I love the cafe too, and I'm happy to be working there. Let's work together and make your grandpa's cafe a success. Yay! <laughs> Pink. Pink. I'm apparently moving myself around now. Hang on. There we go. I feel like we got more than this, didn't we? Oh well. So I think we only get like two pictures for each of the guys. Okay. Alright. Well. <laughs> uh, this is a good time to call it. So... <laughs> But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this stream. Uh, so, I guess we don't really do anything with the guys. <laughs> um, uh, if people want, I will go through and uh, play through the other stories with the guys, because I think we could actually get them done in a pretty decent time. Like, I could do it on Monday if people wanted. If people don't want, we'll just go back to the other games. But uh, I'll I'll put a poll on a on a Twitter. There we go. But yeah, yeah. I mean, if, <laughs> I'm gonna put quotation marks around game <laughs> for that. It is a uh, a novel. It is a visual novel, and I definitely do not consider it whenever we don't have a choice besides the character that we're play like going after. And that is the only choice we have. It's not really a game. It's like a choose-your-own-adventure novel. And it's like, which cowboy do you want to, you know, read the story about? Which is fine. It's a free quote-unquote game. But I think with the other Nekoparas, you at least got, like, choices for, like, options for, like, what you say? Yeah, there isn't like any challenge. It's literally just story. But yeah, we could just do a uh, you know a reading session on Monday and just do a bunch of reading. Yes, exactly. But again, this was free, and it is cowboys. So like, if people want it, I will continue, and we'll we'll do everybody, including Laurel, if people actually want. If people want. But I'll, I'll, I'll do a poll on Twitter and see if people want to continue. Because it would only take one more day, probably, to do everybody's story. But yeah. Alright, you guys. Um, so, probably in about four hours. Three to four hours. I'll post on Twitter when it happens. Or if you guys are following, put on notices so you guys can get the notice. But, uh, there will be a Boxu snack box stream with Mr. Husband later today. And yeah, I'll have the VOD up, obviously, and put it up on my channel on YouTube later as well. But yeah. Yay! Should be fun. Thank you guys again for coming. And I will see you either later today or next week. And if I don't see you guys later today, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. Stay safe. Have fun. And uh, yeah. Let me get my thing going. There we go. And bye!